My name's Valerie Chalmers. I'm the team leader for the Ealing Carer Centre. I've been doing it for nearly three years. Basically, I like helping people. And I have been working for 24 years. And I've always enjoyed it. I've never wanted to stop doing it. I work in Buckingham and the surrounding villages. Um, so it's a very rural scheme um, and I enjoy travelling around all to my clients' houses in the countryside. I've been working in the health and social care for 17 years now and started with the organisation seven years ago. I'm a carer support worker and I go to people's houses and I either take them out or sit and chat with them. I am the volunteer coordinator. I've been with the organisation eight years. I work in the Nottingham area. I've worked for the organisation for eight years, well, just a few months short. Um, I'm project coordinator for Home First North. I work in the Ashfield, Mansfield area. I've been with the company nearly six years. Um, I work in Havering and I like it because I enjoy doing my job, looking after people, caring for people. I'm the learning and development supervisor and I've been with the organisation 17 years. Um, we've got a great team down here. And I've been with the Trust for 10 years now. My role here, I go around and give support to people with dementia and um, end of life. I work for the Wokingham Outreach Service. My role is to find as many hidden carers as there are out there, to get them involved in everything that we do, to make sure that they know all the services that's out there for them and introduce them to any professional bodies that can help them within their caring role. I work in the Reading area and I like it because we only have 17 care support workers that I look after so I can give them a lot of individual attention and they're just amazing care support workers basically. It's a lovely area to work in. I go into people's homes and I help maintain their independence. I support them in whatever they need for that particular task on that particular day. It could vary from client to client. It's very much client based on their personal needs. Without them, I wouldn't be able to get up and start my day to day, day, -to -day life. And they make me feel comfortable. I feel very comfortable and safe with them. I care for my dad, he's got diabetes and essential tremor and like I help around the house with the parts and stuff like that because my dad can't like move or anything like that like by himself. It's important so that um, people have that support they need when they're looking after their own family members, they have that time out um, or they know that there's always going to be someone there to help them get them ready when they need it. I am 78, 78 years old and I can't be sure that I'm going to be here for long maybe. Honestly I cannot imagine they are very good in trying to help people with this type of condition and uh, so that way I don't know what else to do because there's no other organizations which uh, provide care service like this. Support services like these for these young people what it's about really is saying is they're not alone there are people who understand and when things become overwhelming um, there's myself and there's other workers who can step in but most of all a place where they can build relationships and chat to one another I think that's been the greatest part of this support for these guys. Um, and so I think it makes a massive difference and I'd only wish I had it when I was younger. It's very, very important from the point of the carers that they have respite because it's desperately needed because they live, most of them live with family and they're caring for them seven days a week. For the organisation I think it really helps with the reputation because generally Home Share has quite a good reputation and I think it's good that they always get positive feedback as, as they do from all the services they provide. So we don't just deal with the care, we do giving out advice and sometimes it's just a friendly face that walks in. Though we deal with all the care, we are a friend as well, you know, it's someone to chat to. The important thing is when I, when I visit families or individuals in the community, the feedback we get that our workforce, the kind, caring, trustworthy, very professional, and they feel um, safe, you know, leaving their loved ones with our uh, support worker. I think in, in a whole, the service and, and what we actually provide for our organisation is such a benefit to carers and their well-being. A lot of the time they don't have that time to themselves and they want to ensure that there's going to be somebody, a trusted provider that's going to be out there looking after the person that they care for and that they love. 
Um, well, it's important because the thing is, um, you know, people need to have uh, services available to them that is uh, that they can trust, you know, that they can rely on, um, and, and that is what the organisation provides. Because people with care needs need their unpaid carers to look after them, their unpaid carers need help and support so they don't feel isolated, and families without support just go downhill fast and we want them to have a good quality of life, which is why the organisation offers a range of services. When you look at the organisation now, it's spread across such a huge geographical area. And all those local areas are really important because the people know their area, they know the people they work with. But we've got to do something, I think, to help us all feel part of one organisation. I think the, the programme for change is not only important, I think it's vital. It's important because the organisation is changing rapidly, it's growing rapidly, and it needs to adapt and change within itself so that it can be successful in the future. Change is a difficult thing um, and I would just like to wish everybody all the best in terms of going on this journey and coming with us in becoming something new and exciting. Although change can be scary, I would like people to try and embrace this and see it as a good thing that, that they can grow along with. find it rewarding because um, the carers, have, some, some carers don't go out all week and they just, I just go to them maybe once a week for three hours and that's the only time they get out and they're so appreciative. Our company is a completely different kind of care company, it's personally incented, it takes people out of their homes, we can spend time with them, it's more personal, you get to know that person. You know the, the feedback you have from the family, that really makes you know, you feel so satisfied for offering you know, support to somebody who's really needy. So the appreciation from the family actually makes me feel happy and I feel it's quite rewarding. It's a lifeline for um, people like Sunil. It gives them access, so it kind of enables them to be more active and meet maybe their needs, the level of needs they want to do. So, and also it makes me feel quite good about myself that I'm doing something I feel is quite meaningful to the client and they kind of say that as well thank you for coming or things like that and that kind of it kind of touches your heart a bit actually it's more than just um just a job i'd say yeah john's built up such a trust level with with jill now he knows her so well he'll talk to jill he'll, absolutely brilliant right. and she makes john feel so safe and it means the world to me they're both there for john and i no matter what and you guys are always there for us. I think I'll really struggle and I've made new friends and I'm really enjoying it. But if this wasn't here, I think I'll really struggle looking after my parents. The carers are providing a fantastic service. That they, they come for an hour in the morning, an hour at night, and then we have a sitting service which follows on in the morning and the carers then can look after Betty to, um, so, so, so I can go out. But without support from carers, um, basically we couldn't manage. A friendly and reliable service, and sometimes they would go the extra mile or do an extra little job, or, and they came in in a cheerful, helpful manner. And so therefore, it gives you one confidence um, there's a good team. I find it rewarding because it gives others a chance and it encourages them to help out others as well. Imagine not having any time for yourself and then imagine not being able to do anything whatsoever. I like to do things with them that they can't usually do themselves. At the end of the day, you know for a fact that you're giving a one-to-one -one time with that person that nobody else is going to give them. And that's why you need to come and help and do things like this with them. It means a lot, absolutely does. 
just amazing that she's got that confidence to come and be herself and feel supported and by not just the young carers people but you know all the people that come here as well and um, in terms of the impact as a family unit as well <laughs> it's been a huge improvement <laughs> just being able to communicate as a family better together and understanding that we're not the only ones as well. Um, there are other families out there who have similar difficulties. Um, if I've got a few problems, that they'll listen to me and I get very anxious sometimes, so they know how to calm my anxiety uh, down. It just makes me feel comfortable that I can talk to them and they understand as well. I wouldn't want to change um, to change my routine because it's just something about them. I'm just happy to see the familiar faces all the time. Without them, I don't know what I would do.